I'm spinning to the left. Come on. Got him. Watch your rod around there. Pull off. Watch your rod. You got it? Good. Good, buddy. Oh, real, real, real. <laughs> Here it goes. Woo! <laughs> Man, he, for, for like a 60, 70 pounder, he's a spunky little one. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> the slipper here, woolly mammoth. Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the shoes on that thing, huh? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got it, man. I got it, man. You got it? I got it. That's a big fish. Look at the size of that fish. That's a beast, dude. Dude, that's a giant fish. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Shaw, Shaw. Shaw, Shaw. I always believe in if I have a good, true friend and I meet one of their friends, I'll automatically like them because I already know the judge of character this gentleman is and, and, and what they're, they're like. So I got to meet Connor a few years back um, through, in the fishing scene, through my buddies, sitting around, having beers, having dinners together. And the more I was around them, the more I was just like, you know, attracted to them as a, as a friend, you know, of somebody I would be like, oh, I would, I would love to spend some more time with this guy. You know, he shares the same passion of fishing. Loves where we live. Loves just being on the water. Um, he's a phenomenal photographer, you know, and, and he was showing me all these, these amazing shots he captured with some friends and clients on the water and just like, you know, so he has that eye, you know, that artistic eye. Kind of cool that for us to have a day that we both had off and we got to go on the water and, and actually go spend what I do every day and what he loves to go do and what he captures with his camera and go do it together. Come on, fishies. Should have been here yesterday. They're practically jumping the boat, dude. You see them? Barely just finned. They're yeah. going da they're ta daisy chain. Yeah, they're just hanging in there. Dude, they're just hanging in that hole. That's all they're doing. They're just daisy chaining in the hole. Try to play the current. It'll sweep into them. Move it slowly. Go oh, on. Do it on his back. Off the bow. Do off the bow. Cast off the bow. Look off the bow. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, look at 12, dude, look at 12. You still got them all. Go left, right over top the back. Right there for the far ones. <laughs> it brushed his back, did you watch that? <laughs> Tarpon, I don't even know where to start with them. They're, they're addicting in so many different ways. They're hard to feed. Uh, when you do get them to bite, they're crazy. They go ballistic and, and don't stop. Um, Every bite's totally different. You, it's an addiction that you can't shake. I don't care how long you've been doing it, how long you are plan on doing it, and when somebody gets that bug, it's it's stuck with them. That, hey, keep going, keep going. You're right through them again. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep moving a little more. Easy. Out of them now, huh? No, they're all coming. Look at them spinning to the left. Got them. Watch your rod around there. Pull up. Watch your rod, you got it? Good? Good, buddy. Oh, real, 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 just real. Real, real, real. <laughs> Here he goes, he's going. Get ready, he's gonna slice. Woo, baby. Good maneuvering on that hand, because I saw when he threw it, it wrapped around the rod. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Connor. Yeah, baby. Woo, woo. That's so awesome. It's way too much fun. Way too much fun. Why do you have to run so far? Oh, I know. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you. I'm all out of breath, dude. I just did a <laughs> nice, just did a little jump there. I love that current sweep. It's so just sweep the right in there. You, just, you, you, like you thought you were out you of them, have... and I could see the whole other school coming back around. Yeah. And it sweeped in there, and bam, bam. You know what the best part about this is? What? That's gonna be my turn. Yep. <laughs> That's the best part. Woo! Nice. 
Nice, feeling it. I like the I got I like the knees, Ben. Yeah. Awesome, man. I think he's on there. I'm just gonna shut it off now. I think he's. Watch how he's doing. Real, 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 real. Oh. No, not yet. <laughs> she knows. She's a spunky one. Or he probably is. Yeah. That's what I should say. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. Fish the legend. At Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, we're working to make sure that you'll find healthy populations of bonefish, tarpon, and permit at your favorite destinations. From the Florida Keys to Belize, from the Bahamas to Mexico. But we need your help to fight for clean water and healthy habitats. After all, if we don't conserve our flats fisheries, who will? Please support us today at btt.org and help us bring science to the fight. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Florida Marine Tracks, clarity in navigation. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And now, 60 seconds in the millhouse. The nuances of your fishing has always been intriguing to me. And last night, you know, when I called you, we were talking about getting together this morning about about this interview. You sure. were saying, well, tomorrow I've got to go net some mullet. And I was a little bit concerned about what time we could be here. And what was your answer? I told you that I'll have the mullet uh, tucked away in the cooler safely by the time you even think of getting up. (laughs) (laughs) The discussion we had recently was whether or not this, you know, the worm hatches that take place and how these tarpon are so insatiable to eat these things. Do you think there's any sort of a biological thing that is a prerequisite with the worms and the fertility and the spawning of these fish offshore? There, there has to be there. I don't think anything in nature is, is there unnecessarily. It has to be fuel for them to further their migratory, um, their migratory track. It has to be important to them. I'll bet that stuff is high test. If, if, there's, if there's an octane rating for food, I'll bet you mullet are, you know, 87 and the worms are probably 93 if not aviation fuel for them right to watch this and other full-length episodes of the millhouse podcast go to youtube or wherever you find your podcasts yes i believe that yes i believe that's true let's keep our head in the game let's get this all right always like when the fish starts to go upwind you know allows her to drag the boat just kind of go around with her real 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 Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> she knows. She's a spunky one. There you go. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, come on, girl. See, I always thought everything you caught was Photoshop, so I believe it now. <laughs> That's, you don't put an angle on it you didn't know. See how that? Real, real, real. Okay, bring her head this way a little bit. Keep pulling. Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Oh, come on, baby. Are you pulling back to me? Come on. Come on. Just give me your head. Come on. Just give me your head. Oh, got a <laughs> one bear claw. Come back. One bear. Oh, man. Hair got in the way. <laughs> the hair got in the way. Let's try this again, Jared. Back to the right. Easy. Easy. Come here, girl. Come on. Easy. Come back around. 
come back around. Let me that down. Open that mouth. Open that mouth. Open that mouth. Open the mouth. Do not want that mouth open. Bring it gonna back. Open that mouth. Open the mouth. <sighs> open the mouth. Hold on, baby. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Shave the there hair. There she is. Awesome, daughter. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful size fish, too. Really is. Thank Gorgeous, you. right? Thank you. Perfect. Beautiful. Absolute specimen. Beautiful fish. Healthy as can be. It's a perfect release size fish there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Really is. Hold it by the end so she gives us a little bath. Oh, Look at that. View. Awesome, man. Thank Woo! You. Thank Best you part for about that. that is. You're up. My turns. <laughs> my turns with the stick. Dude, that was great. Watch them, oh. sit, right? They're just sitting there daisy chaining and daisy chaining that current, and you finally hear this sweep perfectly those in there. Not, those aren't. There's not easy, easy fish. No, fish. especially <laughs> look at the daylight yeah. today. It's like an aquarium out yeah. here, you know? They see it all. No, it really is, but they'd be able to come out here and actually get one. Yeah. You know, that's that's, that's the cool part about it, you know? Too much. Fun. I almost don't, I almost want like an easier challenge than what you did. <laughs> Because that's going to be hard to beat. I that. couldn't figure out if you were trying to embarrass me or what. Put no, me on those no, fish. no. First of all, you you know how to embarrass <laughs> yourself. Okay, let's go. I don't need I don't need to help you with that. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Pathfinder Boats, Angler Driven, Free Fly Apparel, Comfort On, Adventure Out, Yeti Coolers, Built for the Wild, and by Smith, the experience is everything. Is that his vehicle? The honey badger. The honey badger. <laughs> yeah, they're really doing good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A lot of confidence on that boat. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> you gotta get, wait until Katie Raskov gets you on the shambles. Yeah. And the karaoke come out together. It's like a kit. It's she a has kit. a, she has a kit that she yeah. brings out. And when those things come out, it's a two for one. It's a two. Oh, it's game on, dude. <laughs> Does it take to set up karaoke? You just never know why. I love throwing crabs at permit. Do you, there they are, right here. Oh, I got, I got them. Oh, I got, yeah, I got them. They're in our glare. That's it. That's done deal. Here he comes. <laughs> oh! Oh! That was so sick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I go, here he comes. Yeah. All right, he went for the depth. Well, oh, that was sweet, man. Uh huh. Good spot on that. Good spot on that. Uh huh. Those are so fun because he had all that time to climb up in the water column to blow up on it. Oh, I thought I stuck him good, though, man. There nice go. fish, Think too. Again. <laughs> nice fish. That was a good one. That you? was a good one. Oh. Everything's good on this end. Dude, that was awesome. That, that was thing awesome. I go, here he goes. Yeah. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you just my you turn. Know when it's gonna happen. My turn. It's all your buddy. You usually do. Yes, baby, yes. Yes! <laughs> yes! Go, oh, baby, go. Yes! Yeah, boy! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, boy! Woo! Woo! That's oh, what my lord. About. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My jump, my jump. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful, buddy. Dude, I was, got the opportunity to fish with Andy the other day, man. When he would get into this battle, yeah. there wasn't a word said. He oh, was really? so, oh, so in the moment, just concentrating and all that. And I've been telling my clients all about this moment I spent with him and how you could just see he's like in tunnel vision, like yeah. just so intense. And every little thing he did was just like thought out and yeah, he would he be, just, he's one with the fish, you know, he could, he's feeling every it's, shake. It's insane. And so it, it just was so he cool to it watch. On, it's like a whole nother level. He knows if it eats it with the head out of the water, the paws, if he knows if it sipped it, what he can do. I mean, he was so into yeah. it. Yeah. Here we go. She's a scarred up one. Look at the scars on this one. Yeah. Maybe bump it in reverse just a second. Yeah, I think she's almost done too. I think she's almost done. I'm gonna try to get her right over here to you. Ooh. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Traeger Grills. Experience the evolution of fire. Mako Reels, built to last, built to stop. Simred Chart Plotters, go with confidence. And by Shimano Fishing Products and G Loomis Rods, feel connected. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. I'm Dr. Lucas Griffin from the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and I lead Bonefish and Tarpon Trust Tarpon Acoustic Tagging Project, sponsored by Maverick Boats. For over five years, we have been using acoustic telemetry to track Atlantic tarpon along the southeastern coast of the U.S. and eastern Gulf of Mexico. By tracking the same individuals for multiple years, We've learned that individual tarpon can migrate hundreds of thousands of miles along our coast each year and visit the same locations year after year. This means that a fish caught in the Florida Keys in the spring could be the same fish caught in South Carolina or Mississippi in the summer and early fall, and that the same fish will return to the Keys in the next season. What's especially exciting is that this isn't just occurring for large adult tarpon, since some 45 to 50 pound tarpon we've tagged also make long repeatable migrations. Understanding this is critically important since these movements connect Atlantic tarpon to different regions of the coastline and different communities of anglers and expose the fish to different threats. The results of this groundbreaking project show that state and federal management agencies need to work together to protect Atlantic tarpon and the recreational fishery this amazing fish supports. To ensure the long-term health and sustainability of the fishery, we must make Atlantic tarpon catch and release only throughout the range in the U.S. The recent designation of the tarpon as catch and release in North Carolina is a great first step. We also need to work together and educate others to increase the use of best handling practices that reduce mortality following release. Given the remarkable connectivity our study demonstrates, we must also protect critical habitats such as spawning areas in the south 
and freshwater estuary foraging grounds in the north. To learn more, visit btt.org slash tarpon. Take it for a second, take it. You talk to me. I think you're almost there, buddy. How cool is this, man? I got to grab one of your fish and you might get the potential to grab one of mine. Oh yeah, I'm all about it. Maybe bump it in reverse just a second. Yeah, I think she's almost done too. I think she's almost done. I'm gonna try to get her right over here to you. Good one too. Oh yeah. Here you go, buddy. Here's your you shot. Ready? Here's your shot. Here's your shot. Get her, buddy. Got her. I'm tight for you until you tell me you got her. Got, got her? Hold on. Nice! Got her! Yeah, baby! I'm backing off the drag. Hold Here, I'll do it with the fly. Oh, you got the tail end. I got him. Oh. Got him? Yeah, I got him. Oh. Beautiful fish. Just trying to get this out uh, and get her going. Yep. There. Fly. Get off the cheekbone here. Uh huh. Okay, good. Yep. Hey, why don't you bump that motor in gear? You, Me? Yeah, go ahead and bump it in gear. She's been very good to us. Quick battle. We'll get her going here. Keep going. Just keep it in, keep it in gear for a second. Turn a little bit to the left. To the left? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, to our left. Yep. She's already kicking on me. Keep her going? Or yeah, I'm going to let her go. Okay, you can just put in neutral. See you, baby. Yeah, boy. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Thanks, about. Thanks, buddy, for being patient that's, with me in there. That's the way to, oh. to end the day. Are you kidding me, man? I don't ever get the fish anymore. And I was like, I was starting to lose <laughs> yeah, it on myself, too. right? I'm like, you know, I yell at I people for that. I was about to lose it on myself for not oh. letting the boat stop. <laughs> oh, man. That was incredible, buddy. That was super awesome. Nice fish, oh. you know. That thing, the first Incredible. one slipped past it and it was down the bottom Incredible. and just came up and night, night. There he goes, all healthy. That's awesome. Ooh. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that, was, that was really heck fun. Heck of a day. Really enjoyed it. Heck of a day. Woo, you know what time it is. <laughs> yes. I know you know what time it is. It's I know, past that. I night. know what time it is. <laughs> Comes. Action! Shut up, karaoke! <laughs>